Hey everyone and welcome back to Miss Estric Biology and with mock exams fast approaching I know some of you are going to be feeling a little bit stressed about how you're going to fit in all your revision into the time you have left. But don't worry, I've got you covered with an updated version of my one week revision plan. This will help you make the most of what little time you might have left so that you can ace your mock exams, but also use this idea as well when it comes to the real exams as well. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking you through my three key steps of revision that I always go on about, understanding, remembering, and practicing exam questions, but how you could fit all of those within one week. Now let's just address this straight away. You should not be aiming to only do one week of revision but if you are in this situation now this is what I'm going through if you've only got one week left how can you maximize this final week so let's jump into it then starting with a quick reminder of my three revision step strategy which hopefully you're sick of hearing me say that by now because that means it's drummed into your memory and you know exactly how you should be revising if you haven't heard me talk about this before there are three stages the first step to your revision is always understanding and that should take up 20% of your revision revision time. Step two is remembering and this should take up 40% of your revision time and step three is practicing exam questions and this should take up 40% of your revision time as well. So let's go through each step. Step one is the understanding which is 20% of your time and if you've only got one week left until your test hopefully you pretty much understand it all anyway but you might need to do the odd little part of revision to make sure you do understand everything. So when we say understanding the information information. The key ways to do this are either watching my YouTube videos, reading your class notes, reading my notes, reading your textbook. But the key to making sure that this is really effective is not to do this passively. So don't just sit and watch my YouTube videos doing nothing else other than listen to me talk. Don't just sit and read your textbook or the notes. Try and actively engage yourself somehow. So if it's in the video, as I'm going through information on meiosis, let's say, try and pause as you go and maybe do a label diagram or a key information bullet point list. Just something that is making sure that you are actively engaging with the video or the textbook to make sure that you are understanding and really processing that information. Now, hopefully at this stage, because you've only got one week left, you're not trying to understand everything from scratch. And instead it's more filling in a few gaps in your knowledge that you aren't completely certain on. So for your one week revision, the 20% understanding is hopefully more going over the previous content making sure you've got a thorough understanding. Once we've got to that point we then move on to step two which is remembering that information which should be about 40% of your revision time. So now you understand all the information the next thing is you have to remember it all off by heart for your exam. So the way to be able to remember the vast amount of information that there is to learn in A-level biology is through active recall. And what this means is repeatedly testing yourself to see if you do remember the information. And there's a range of different strategies that you can use. And it is actually recommended that you do a range of strategies, not just pick one, because variety will be testing your memory in different ways. And therefore it should make you improve your long-term memory. So try a mixture of the ideas we go through. So number one could be testing yourself with flashcards. So having one keyword definition or process on one side, answer on the other and if you're not certain on the best way to use flashcards then check out my video here so go through how to effectively use flashcards so make sure you're definitely using them effectively otherwise you're wasting your time so number one is use flashcards and if you don't have your own then I'll link mine in the description below so you can use mine to save a load of time plus they're mark scheme specific and checked by examiners number two is blurting and this is where you pick a small part of the topic and write down or draw down everything you you can remember in a set time limit. I usually say about five minutes. What you then do is use your notes or your textbook to fill in the gaps to see was there anything that you didn't remember and was there anything you got wrong? And where you're filling in the gaps or correcting, that should be in a bright colored pen. You then stick your blurt up somewhere visible that you're going to have it in your face repeatedly just throughout the day. And you should then repeat the same topic blurt at least twice more. And then you should find by the end of whatever time frame this is let's say a week for what we're doing now you will have less and less bright colored kind of pen until eventually hopefully you remember it all number three is you could try my active recall workbook which as the name suggests it's designed specifically for this remembering stage it's 
a mixture of filling the gaps, short answer questions, labeling diagrams, comparison tables to really check, do you remember the information? And you also have the answer booklet so you can see what the mark scheme specific answers would be for that. The final thing you might like to do is work in pairs or as a group to test each other. So verbally testing each other, whether they can remember certain information or whether they can answer some short answer questions. Step number three is practicing exam questions, which again should be about 40% of your revision time. Now, if you've only got one week to go, you might want to tweak this slightly and have a slightly bigger portion of time on the practicing exam questions. But make sure you are doing these exam questions without your notes and doing at least some of them in timed conditions because that is often where people fall down in the mocks. They aren't used to doing it in timed conditions and they run out of time. So as a general ballpark, it's 1.3 minutes per mark on average for AQA. So look at how many marks you're doing, times that by 1.3, that's how long you should give yourself. If you get extra time, then you're allowed 25% extra time on top of what you've just calculated. So make sure you're doing exam questions without your notes, time conditions, and marking them accurately. If you aren't certain if you're marking them accurately, I've got a video just here on how to use the mark scheme and how to understand all the terminology and symbols to make sure you are self-marking it accurately. So check that out. And then what you can do is see, are there any particular questions you're losing more marks on? And you can focus on that skill more or that topic of it more. And if you do need bundles of free exam questions, I've got lots on my website for free, either organized by mock papers, topics, or end of unit tests as well. So that's the general structure of your revision, but let's break this down now into an actual timetable for this one week. So I'm gonna go through a timetable with the assumption we're working from Monday to Friday and then Saturday and Sunday and your test is on Monday. If that's not your timeline, then shift the week, shift those seven days according to when your timeline is. And I'm also gonna go with an assumption that you have two hours of revision per day midweek. And I'm gonna suggest that's between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. So when you get back from school and maybe before dinner or just after dinner, a two hour block. But again, shuffle those two hours around to whenever you have the time in the day but you should have at least two hours free in the day midweek to do this revision and then because we're talking about the final week you are going to be needing to work hard at the weekend so I'm going with the assumption of four hours of revision on Saturday four hours of revision on Sunday that does still give you plenty of time though for the rest of Saturday and Sunday to have a break and also sleep so let's jump into Monday to Friday then what you could be doing between 5 and 7 p.m so between 5 and 5 30 30 p.m. This is when I'd start by doing a bit of understanding Monday to Friday. So just half an hour per day, midweek, understanding the information. So this could be watching my YouTube videos on the tricky topics I identified or going over notes. Then between 5.30 and 6.30 p.m. This is when you should be doing the remembering of the information. So you could be testing yourself with flashcards or my Active Recall workbook or testing each other. And then 6.30 to 7 p.m. is when you could be doing your practicing midweek week. So that's 30 minutes of exam questions every day midweek. And if you've got 30 minutes, you're probably going to want to spend about 20 minutes doing the exam questions, 10 minutes marking and reviewing. So that is your Monday to Friday. The Saturday and Sunday then is going to focus a lot more on the practicing stage. So you need to pick four hours during the day, Saturday to Sunday. My suggestion here is 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. you're going to be doing remembering. So that could be active recall strategies like blurting, flashcards, active recall workbook. 11 till 1 p.m. would be practicing exam questions. So doing the exam questions and then marking them. So that's a good two hour chunk because at this stage, that close to your exam, you should really be focusing a lot on exam questions. I then suggest 1 to 2 p.m. Give yourself an hour break. This could be when you go and have lunch, bit of fresh air, whatever it is. Give yourself a solid hour off because if you've just done three hours of revision, you need a solid break. And then after lunch, 2 till 3 p.m., you could do some more exam exam questions. 
So as I said, Saturday and Sunday is mainly exam questions and marking those questions. Now I've given those suggested times for Saturday and Sunday, but shuffle it around whatever your commitments are, when you personally work best, if you need more breaks throughout the day, but you should be aiming for at least four hours on both Saturday and Sunday. So that is it, my one week revision plan, talking you through the best way to structure it in terms of understanding, remembering and practicing exam questions, but also giving you a suggested timetable of how you can then apply that Monday to Sunday before your exam. So good luck with any mock exams you do have coming up. And if you didn't know, I am actually doing mock revision lessons live for three pounds per hour. So those are linked below. I'll put up here the information of which lessons are coming up. It's three pound per lesson. Or if you want to come to all five, you get a discount and it's 12 pounds for five hours of live lessons with me running between December and January 2024 to 2025. So best of luck everyone and I will see you next week.